If you think that getting thousands of streams on your songs and making money from your music isn't possible with a self-release or as a music producer, well, let me show you how wrong you are. I recently discovered a new platform called Collab House, which allows independent music producers and artists to distribute their songs on all streaming platforms, promote it through campaigns with big social media influencers, and make money by licensing it for sync. Meaning that you add your song to their music library and anyone that wants to buy it for their video video, films, TV, podcasts can do so. Instead of having to use five different apps and websites to do all this, you just have everything with one platform. So in today's video, I will show you how I distributed my new song Gotta Be through Collab House, how I worked with influencers to promote it through their social media, and how I added it to their music library for anyone to buy. So first things first, we need to distribute our song on all streaming platforms, so let's do this on Collab House. Alright, so we are in my Collab House profile. As you can see and right now we want to create a release release info so choose image i have it it is this one perfect release title gotta be record label we don't it's a self-release but it's good to note that if you do have a record label and you want them to use collab house you can do so now let's find myself on spotify okay so to link my spotify artist profile i need to go find my id and I need to do this because I already have a Spotify profile. If you don't and you're brand new, they'll just create a whole Spotify profile for you. Bam, okay. And now Apple, there we go. Add artist. Good, now they have my Spotify artist profile linked, so that's perfect. All right, now release date. What is cool here is that you can choose whatever release date you want, you can customize it. Not like others where you sometimes had to pay more for that feature. Here you can do it with the free plan. Let's choose and it's gonna be Friday 16th of June. It was recorded in 2023 in Canada. All right, genre, main genre. <laughs> That's gonna be tough because this song, I have no idea exactly what genre it is. I just let myself do whatever like was in my head. So it's gonna be hard to pinpoint, but I kind of have an idea. It's definitely gonna be electronic. I think it's definitely gonna be house, like chill house, deep house, I think more. Yeah, let's go with deep house. Language, it's in English. So all these settings are pretty standard from what other distributors I've been using, so it's pretty nice. Also another thing that I really love here is that the UI and the interface is pretty intuitive. Uh, I really like the design, it's really easy to follow the instructions. All the informations here are telling you exactly where you can get the information that you need, so really like plus one on that, it's really nice to have. All right, create release. Choose the audio file, yes. It is this one, Master V2, obviously. Track title, gotta be. Track version, no. BPM, okay, 126, cool. PLV music, that's me. No featuring artists, no identifiers yet. Language, audio language, English as well. Track lyrics, oh, I have them too, in my Notion template. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. That's cool, I've never used the lyrics setting in Spotify, so by putting them here, it might be on Spotify and I wanna see that. So that's pretty cool, that's a good surprise. Oh, preview start, right. We'll put 210, I think that's pretty good. All right, create track. Ooh, looking good. Okay, royalty split. Well, I'm the only one on this one, so that'll be pretty easy. <laughs> All right, next, distribute to music services, yes. Now I have the choice to either pay five euros, this way I keep all the royalties, like 100%, or I can go and release for free with them, they'll just keep 5% of the royalties. And honestly, I'll take the free option with them keeping 5% of the royalties. So I guess we're good, submit release. All right, your release has been submitted for approval, cool. All right, so I guess that's it. Our release is ready to go and it will release in about a week and a half. One thing I wanted to mention as well is that I can get a free pre-save link. I just need to ask for it, so I will do that. And same to release on Beatport. It's at no extra cost. You can do this, you just have to contact them. Now we just have to wait for the release to be released so that I can start promoting it with big social media influencers. All right, so we are Sunday 18th of June, meaning that the song released just two days ago. By the way, if you haven't heard it yet you can watch the lyrics video right here or you can listen to it on spotify there will be a link in the description now it is time for us to put it on the music library so that anyone that owns like a podcast or is a content creator has a tv show
social or whatever can buy it and also trying to collab with some influencers through their collab market. Now let's start by adding our song to their music library. So here I'm on my profile on Collab House and all I have to do is to go to my releases, click on the one I want to add on the music library and go to this one here, add to music library. So first here you have all the rules, all the guidelines and all this, so all good. As you can see here as well, Collab House is telling you how much they're gonna take as a commission once you do a sale. And as you can see, it's 25%. So let's confirm that. And now we just need to add all our price, our terms, all of that. Now this is where it gets interesting. I can click the paid button and I can basically choose whatever amount. So either low five euro, mid 10 euros, high 25 euros or a custom. So if you want it to be like 750 or 1250, you can put whatever amount you want to sell your song. Right now, I'm just going to stay at five euro and just continue. Then you basically just have to go through each categories and select which option you want, free or paid, and which amount you want if you choose the paid option. As I was saying, you literally set your own terms for every single category, which goes from social media use to TV show, game trailer, podcast and live streams, corporate and educational content. You really have a lot of potential buyers. As you can see on the screen, they have price recommendation. And if you have no knowledge of how much you should price your song per use, this is a great way to get an idea and just choose the low, mid or high option. In my case, I just selected the low option for everything as I'd rather people to use my song and get more exposure. The only exception is that I selected free for charities and nonprofits. Now, while I was filling all this up, it made me realize something. Wow, 125 and 200 euros are the low price? I'm starting to feel like, you know, if you add a lot more music and sell licenses like this, this is a good, this is a good call. <laughs> and speaking about this, basically the idea here is that the more music you release and put on this music library, the more potential money you can make from it. And additionally, you have the option to do a bulk upload. So if you have a lot of music in your catalog, you can add a lot of music at the same time. <laughs> I'm honestly shocked by the price. <laughs> Like, honestly, it is it is crazy. As I am doing it myself, I am realizing the potential that there is here. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it's time to just hit publish. Product successfully published to music library. Nice, and it's ticked in here. That is really cool. So now basically anyone that is going to go through the music library, like um, someone that has a TV show or a new app, a new game or a podcast or a content creator, and they like my song, they can buy it and I'll receive the money. Like, and I have nothing else to do forever. The, the song is there, the song is uploaded, it's ready to be bought. Like, this is really cool. All right, can I see it? Hey, there you go. There's my song over here. So if I click on the arrow here, like this is literally what someone that wants to buy music would see. Yeah, and now they see all the price for all the different, you know, availability. Yeah, that is so cool. And then they can choose to license this track and pay. Yeah. So as you can see, the music library makes it really easy for us to use. You can set up your own terms, your own prices for everything. You can even choose to make it free for like more promotional exposure and it goes straight to the end user. Now for the payment, it is a daily payment of royalties, meaning that as soon as you make money, you'll get paid. So if you have any copyright free music that is just laying around on your computer, just put it on the music library because every genre is accepted and you might just make some extra money, which is always a good thing. All right, so now that this is done, let's try and promote our track through their collab market. So once again, if we're on our home profile in Collab House, you just have to go down a little bit more and here you have the tab for the collabs. So first I need to provide some settings for all the collabs that I want to do. And I mean social media influencer collab, not songs collabs. <laughs> All right, so first to present myself to them, I need to add all my Instagram, YouTube, Spotify profiles. All right, done, next. Social platforms you are interested in. So basically here, I'm gonna tell which platforms I want influencers to promote my songs on. So for example, Instagram, definitely. I would also love TikTok. And why not put Spotify? I don't really know what it is, but I'm gonna check it for now. Content categories you're interested in. Content categories that would work well with your music. Okay, so now that's the moment we have to think. <laughs> okay, I think those categories really match is really well. Like I, I really see like someone running to it, but also someone like sh showing some like fashion design clothes or also traveling, like travel videos. I don't know. That's what I see for it. So I think that would be matching pretty well. 
collab types. Oh yeah, so that's where it gets interesting. You can either collab on a fixed fee, meaning that you're gonna pay a fee to the influencer to promote your song, or you can also choose a royalty split collab, which is kind of interesting because I feel like it's gonna give them an incentive as to promoting it more, because the more they promote it, the more the song does streams, the more they get a royalty um, fee from it. For now, I'm going to check both just to see who I can find, you know? Okay, so now that my settings are set, I can try and find an influencer. So for that, I need to go to the collab market over here. And now I just need to find an influencer to collab with. <laughs> so there's filters on the side that I can use as well, so I might use them. For now, I'm gonna check a little bit. Okay, so now there's some people. Okay, okay. It's quite a lot, actually. Okay, so here I found one, Eliana Walmsley. She seems to be doing a lot of different type of content. She has a lot of followers, so maybe let's try her. So you would have to hit the proposed collab. And now you have a little form that you can fill out and then send the proposal for the collab. So let's try and fill up this one. While I fill out this collab proposal, I also wanted to mention that a la carte service are available, meaning that if you do not want to change distributor, but you just want to use the collab market or the music library service, you can absolutely do that. So I highly recommend to check it out for yourself as I do believe that it'll probably help you a lot in your career. All right, so my proposal has been sent. Now I just need to wait for her answer. But also in the meantime, I am going to send out a few more proposals, like probably five, just because I don't know if everyone's going to reply, if it's gonna go through with everyone. So I'd like to cover a bit more ground. Also one more thing on the collab market, collab house doesn't take a cut whatsoever. It's just between you and the influencer. But yeah, I'll let you know how it goes right after. Okay, hold on. I just received a collab proposal from a content creator that wants to, I think, make content with my song. I was actually done contacting influencers. I think I sent three proposals and this person is not someone that I sent a proposal to. So like they sent me a proposal. I didn't know it could also go this way. So let's check it out. All right, help you, Avi. I'd love to team up and start a collab with you. All right, for Gotta Be with a fixed fee on TikTok. I want to sing along and just vibe to your song. I hope you accept. I'm intrigued. I'm just going to create a counter proposal just so that I can send her another message and talk a bit more about what she wants to create to make sure it is what I would want. Um, but this is pretty cool. All right, so it's been a couple days and I received two approvals. So let's see what they made with my song. I'm really excited. Okay, so review the proof of delivery. Review the post on TikTok. Let's see. So this is the first post. Yeah, I think she's a fashion influencer. Well, I wish she would have taken the drop, but but it was a cool little montage. Okay, and this is the second piece of content, which is the person that actually contacted me, which I'm really excited about. Put a little CTA, like a call to action. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I like how she vibes, like how, how she's just like enjoying the song and all. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I like as well how she's putting like the lyrics on screen. It's a really nice touch. That's cool. So I don't really know exactly if it sent people to the song as I don't have their stats, but I'm really happy with the content that they made. Now, if you are curious as to how much streams I got so far, it's been exactly a week and we are already above a thousand streams, which for a self-release is not bad at all. I'm really happy with it. Self-releasing can be a hassle for a new music producer and artist, but as you saw, it doesn't have to be this way. So make sure to check out Collab House with the link in the description as I am sure it will make your life easier. But that being said, royalties and sync licensing aren't the only way for you to make money from your music. So click on the screen to watch this video next as I reveal nine different ways for you to make money passively. But in the meantime, keep learning and I'll see you in the next one.